Tony with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. And it's still going to be pretty hot and muggy out there today, as you're saying, Pete, but the thunderstorm threat less than what we saw yesterday. Yeah, we're going with about 20% chance yeah. for today, so that's the good news. And we also have lots of heat and humidity, probably hotter than we saw yesterday. Wow, okay. So let's get ready. All right. It's Governor's Bay Day. That's right. A lot of people have been head of the beach. Free parking at the state beaches. We'll talk about that in just a second. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12, not picking up on any precipitation right now. Already very warm, 81 in Providence, 79 Westerly, Newport at 79, and New Bedford already up to 81 degrees. We were talking about Governor's Bay Day, where you get free parking at our state beaches. And this is one of our state beaches, East Matunic. Here's your forecast. 87 degrees, a slight chance of a storm, but most of your day at the beach is dry. Water temperature around 75 degrees. And uh, the wind's coming out of the west-southwest for a good part of the day. That's a land direction, and that will uh, pump those beach temperatures up. A nice day to jump in the water. All right, down city Providence, it's already 81. Winds out of the northwest, that's that dry direction I was just talking about. That's at 8 miles an hour. Now the dew point's at 73. It will still be humid for a good part of today, and then some changes by later on this evening. Notice some showers and thunderstorms already trying to develop here uh, around Buffalo, New York. This stuff will try to push through as we go into the evening hours. In fact, a cold front will shove some showers our way, at least the chance of some showers. And then there is that drop in humidity that will arrive tonight through tomorrow morning. All right, hour by hour on our future cast. This is 8 o'clock in the morning, a hazy mix of clouds and sun for a good part of the morning. There's a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm passing through, but I think the better chance would be during the afternoon, right around 4.30, the chance of some scattered storms. So not everybody will see these, and like Danielle and I were just mentioning, there's about a 20% chance. So uh, there's a good chance about 80% in fact that you will not see any storms at all. Now as we go through the evening, here comes that cold front. Watch what it does. It's going to sweep down to our south. Behind it, some drier air, less humid air. That means much more comfortable by early tomorrow morning. And tomorrow afternoon's forecast quite nice as well. I'll have that coming up in just a minute. As for the south shore today, 89 westerly, Charlestown 86. A few of these coastal locations could sneak up close to 90 degrees. 88 in Wickford. Inland temperatures in the low and maybe mid-90s. There could be some spots which do get to 93, 94, maybe 95 degrees for today. 90 in Foster, 90 Situate, 91 in Johnson. One of the reasons we'll see a bit more heat compared to yesterday. Yesterday we went up to 87 in Providence. I think we'll see a little bit more sunshine compared to yesterday. Now there will be clouds and haze blocking out the sun at times, but I think a little brighter than yesterday afternoon. 88 in Westport, 89 New Bedford, Middletown 86 degrees, Seekonk 90. I also want to talk about the winds briefly. Winds out of the west-southwest, 5 to 15 miles an hour. Could see some gusts up to 25, maybe 30 in the afternoon. So if you're hitting the golf course, that breeze may be blowing your golf ball around a little bit. Uh, out on the water, winds out of the west, 10 to 15 knots, waves around 2 feet. Uh, high tide, we passed that already. Low tide coming up at 118 this afternoon. Seven day future cast shows that nice drop for tomorrow. 85 is your high temperature and that will be a dry, lack of humidity type of 85 degrees. So more comfortable. Look at the morning temperature on Tuesday, 63 degrees, 89 on Tuesday afternoon, Again, though, I don't think the humidity will be a big deal at that point. It does start to leak back in Wednesday and Thursday, and we'll also see the chance of some showers and storms Wednesday night and Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday, looking good for now, mostly sunny skies, high temperatures in the low 80s. So all in all, if you uh, don't like the heat, if you're sick of it, like uh, many people have told me they are, that's a seven-day uh, future cast for you. We do have to deal with a little bit of heat for today, however. All right, we'll get through it. Thanks, Pete. Yep. And now we want to take a look at what happened this past week on the Roadshow.